This is What Do You Bring to the Table, a nonprofit project made by youth for youth that aims to explore the many, many career paths available within our Canadian food systems. By interviewing industry leaders across the country, we get a first hand look at the various existing and emerging agri food career opportunities with a particular focus on equity and sustainability. We want to thank the Gailey Foundation for their generosity in supporting this project, as well as the Catherine and Maxwell Megan Foundation and the Peterborough K.M. Hunter Charitable Foundation. Please visit our website youthinfoodsystems.ca and sign up for our free monthly e-newsletter to stay involved. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Links to those are on our website. If you like what we're doing, please drop a like, review, or comment. Or, if you have the means to, contribute with a monetary donation through our website. Thanks for listening! This is Episode 8, Kuritika and Dinah. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Karana, and today I'm here with Diana Johnson to talk about her career. So why don't you give yourself a little introduction? Hi, um, my name is Dinah, and I'm working for a company called Because um, as their operations manager. And Because is a company that is an online grocery store uh, with a focus on local products. And I'm in the background of that company uh, doing their operations work. So their inventory and um, just general flow, um, ordering from vendors, or getting our delivery people out the door and like those sorts of tasks. And um, I've been here for about six months or so, maybe a little bit more now and have worked in like many areas in the food industry, like health food stores, worked, had my own farm for a little while and um, used to manage a farmer's market. So I've kind of been around in the food, the local food scene. Very interesting. Um, So can you please uh, just ta- uh, let everyone know what your like main role is and your like responsibilities? Yeah, so one of the main parts of my role is making sure that the website stays stocked. So the products that we have in store from local vendors, making sure that I'm ordering those before they run out so that they're always available for people to order. And um, I also do all the packing and uh, picking for all of the orders that go out to our local customers and then organizing the delivery side of that as well. So routing our delivery drivers and um, and and then like, this is a small business, so we're a small team, which usually requires doing a little bit of everything also. So just kind of whatever needs to be done in the day. And then um, how do you get started in this profession? Yeah, good question. Um, I am very passionate about local food and the importance of having a really strong local food system. And so that's kind of taken me to this point, I would say. Um, Before I got to this job, I was farming and was just struggling with the like, financial and physical burnout of what is required with farming. And so I still wanted to work in the industry while also um, recovering from that. Um, So this job is great just because it it aligns with so many of my values. And I'm just kind of in a different sector of the food system now. And then how did you get like into like the industry? Like, was it like from, was it like during high school that you wanted to get into the profession or? was just like some random day? Um, You know, it was a bit of an accident. Um, I'm happy I'm here now, but I studied holistic nutrition about 10 years ago now. And um, the reason I studied that was not as a career path, but just because I had a lot of health problems and issues. Um, 
And so I took a personal personal year, I guess, to study this and, and looking for some answers for myself. And I ended up just being so intrigued by food in general and the importance of it and also noticed as I started to shift away from like conventional and processed foods and changed my diet and stuff that um, I started to feel a lot better and so I was kind of motivated by that to continue like on this path and so that's kind of what led me to like farmers markets and then led me to farming and now leading me to more the distribution side of food. Um, but there was, I would say there was like a very specific moment in my nutrition course where we had this blindfold activity and we had to taste the difference between a conventional tomato and an heirloom, like locally grown organic tomato. Um, I'd never had anything outside of the conventional food before. And that was the first time that I realized that tomatoes had like a flavor. <laughs> And I don't know, once you taste good food, you can't really go back after that. So that was like a very pivotal moment for me. I had no idea that this like little game that we were gonna play would um, really drastically shift my path. That's interesting. Um, also, um, what do you like the most about your job and like, like the least, if there is anything? Yeah, I would say the parts that I like the least is, it, or, sorry, the part that I like the most is being able to work with local vendors and other small businesses in Victoria and helping to like bolster them and support them. And um, I'm just a foodie in general, so I love learning about new foods and trying like great new products that are local and from people that I know even. And that part really makes my heart happy and also just knowing that people are eating better um and that by people supporting like local vendors and like local food that we're also strengthening our our food system on the island and so those are the parts that really like bring me a lot of satisfaction i would say the least enjoyable parts of my job is just if i have to spend a lot of time in a computer I prefer much more dynamic um, physical jobs, uh, which is probably why I love farming so much, just because you're moving and active and get to be outside. And I work quite a bit in a freezer slash refrigerated warehouse. So I would say that part is a bit challenging, but the actual work itself for the most part is great. Um, to add on also, how does like a day to day how does a day usually look for you, like your daily schedule? Yeah, they all look a little bit different, but for the most part, um, I come in early in the morning and I do some of the packing for the orders. I do the routing for our delivery people and kind of get them sorted to take all our deliveries out for the day. And then after that, I usually um, do any admin work, like ordering from vendors or like general organization, like inventory in the warehouse. Um, and then in the afternoons, we'll do my picking and packing for the following day. And depending on how many deliveries we have, like if it was too many for our driver, then um, the, sometimes I do deliveries as well. So that's kind of a, a standard day, but some of the days are just you know, some days we have a lot of orders, some days we have less, and so it's very flowy, I would say. And we have a really small team too, so like sometimes we're like shooting social media videos or, um, you know, brainstorming creative, different creative things that we can do with the business. So it's very, it's very fluid and dynamic in that way. Okay, so um, what are some like skills or qualifications that are important, like in your role? I would say like general organization, I would say would be the main thing. And um, being able to like having good communication. So being able to like order clearly and know when, when we're getting deliveries and 
um, being able to communicate that to other vendors and people that we're buying from. So I'd say communication would be a huge thing. Um, I think it's helpful to really understand the food system and like how, you know, you get from like a zucchini seed to like a zucchini in a box in the warehouse and having like an appreciation for that, that um, path <laughs> that it has to take. I wouldn't say that's like a necessary thing, but for example, when if we order from local farms, just like having that understanding of, of, of the systems and let's see what else I think just being also really flexible like when you work for a small business it's like you know you kind of wear many hats and so just being able to to go with the flow of each day looking very different that's a great answer I would have like never thought that you need like flexible like flexibility because myself I could never do that um, yeah. next question, um, has your job like changed over the past decade or ever since you've like joined? Yeah, I mean, I've kind of been moving around in the food industry for like about 10 years now. So yeah, like I mentioned, it's been from like managing farmers markets to actually like working as a farmhand on someone else's farm to having my own farm, um, working in a health food store in like doing their supplements and like natural health products and um, all of them have been really like I've learned a lot from each each job so I feel like each each kind of new transition that I make I bring all of the knowledge from those places and kind of just try and continue that. Um, what are some skills just like that you did learn over like the different career paths that you had? Yeah, I would say um, a lot of knowledge around like the body in general is important and um, like working as a holistic nutritionist and working in the supplement departments, just having a general understanding of like how the body works and all of its systems and and then being able to apply food and nutrition into that. And I feel like that's what keeps me very motivated and passionate about local food is like just a basic understanding of how food impacts our like physiological system. And sorry, I kind of lost sight of what the question was. Can you repeat it? Yeah. So what was like some, some like skills or things you learned um, during like the different career paths? Yeah. And then I would say also like running my own business was like a massive um like like push you into the deep end sort of learning you know instead of like learning in a textbook it just kind of went for it and and some of it was great some of it I didn't do great and those are all things um that are useful like whether I have my own business or not like working in someone else's business it's been very useful just to have an understanding of like you know, like the limitations that someone running a small business might have or like different ideas that worked for me or or didn't work for me. And I think like the general awareness and understanding of like how our food system works and kind of like the model that we have right now, like how that works, but then also trying to be creative and innovative of like, how can we make this better and how can we strengthen our food system? based on this model. And so I think just having a, a, a good understanding of that is helping me a lot. Okay, um, now it's time for our last question. What advice would you give to someone who wanted to like get involved in your career or career path? Hmm. I think, yeah, getting to know our food system in as many ways as possible and I, I mean that in even like the most fun way possible, like eating local food is like <laughs> literally my favorite activity. Um, you know, going to farmers markets and um, buying food from local farms and just being active in that way and participating. And I think 
whether it's like you start to feel better because of your health or the food just tastes amazing or you're making these really like great relationships with local people like i think there's so many parts of being active in our food system that are really fun and um and positive and like really build community and i think i think we all want those things <laughs> and so um, I think, yeah, just being as active as possible and seeking out um, people in the community to like, you know, instead of, let's say you buy something always at the grocery store and you find someone else that in your community that sells it and just seeking that out. And um, I think many people will find that they feel very inspired to, to continue seeking that out. Okay, that's a great answer. Um, well, that's the end of the interview. Um, thank you everyone for watching and I hope that you learned a lot about Diana's career and her role at BC Cause and I hope that you may consider this as a pathway in the future. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed this episode of What Do You Bring to the Table, a project of Seeds of Diversity's Youth and Food Systems program. Thanks again to the Gailey Foundation, the Catherine and Maxwell Megan Foundation, and the Peterborough K.M. Hunter Charitable Foundation. And of course, thanks to you for listening. See you again soon.